The Kid Detective Agency, The Case of the Missing Ice Cream. In the small town of Willow Creek, a group of kids formed a super-secret club called the Kid Detective Agency. Led by Leo, the clever mastermind, the group also included Mia, the gadget wizard, Ben, the snack expert, and Lucy, who was fearless when it came to sneaking around. Their mission? Solving every mysterious, baffling, or funny case in their neighborhood. One sunny Saturday morning, Leo received a call from the neighborhood ice cream truck driver, Mr. Sprinkle. He was frantic. My ice cream's disappearing, kids, he whispered urgently into the phone. Three days in a row, flavors like chocolate chunky monkey and strawberry swirl have gone missing. I think it's an ice cream thief. Leo and the team gathered under their favorite tree, which doubled as their detective headquarters. Mia brought her evidence kit. Ben came armed with a notepad and, naturally, a stash of cookies. Lucy wore her all-black sneak suit, even though it was the middle of the day. All right, team, Leo said, his voice low and serious. We're up against a very crafty criminal. We'll call this the case of the missing ice cream. They decided to investigate the ice cream truck first. Mr. Sprinkle opened the back of his truck, revealing rows and rows of colorful tubs. But in the middle, there was an empty space where the chocolate chunky monkey should have been. First clue, Mia announced, pulling out her magnifying glass. She scanned the floor and spotted a sticky chocolatey paw print. She pointed to the footprint dramatically. Chocolate paws? Do we have a bear in Willow Creek? Ben asked, munching on a cookie. No bear would stop at just ice cream, Lucy whispered. It'd eat the whole truck. Leo nodded. Good thinking, Lucy. This thief has a sweet tooth and just enough restraint to only take ice cream. They all glanced around, suspiciously eyeing the trees and bushes nearby. All right, plan A, Leo said, thinking fast. Ben, you'll create a distraction while we investigate the area. Ben nodded, grabbing a red popsicle from the truck and waving it around. Hey! Who wants a popsicle? He called out. Suddenly, they heard a rustling sound from a bush nearby. The detectives looked at each other, then tiptoed closer. They peered through the leaves and saw a raccoon, its tiny paws covered in chocolate, licking a nearly empty ice cream tub. Caught red paw, Lucy declared. But the raccoon wasn't alone. Two more raccoons appeared, each dragging a different flavor of ice cream out from their hiding spots in the bushes. It was a whole raccoon ice cream party. Mr. Sprinkle gasped. Those little bandits. I knew something strange was going on. Leo stepped forward. All right, team, we need to figure out a way to stop these raccoons before they eat all the ice cream in Willow Creek. Mia's eyes lit up. What if we set a trap? The team gathered all their snack wrappers, leftover pizza crusts, and a couple of gummy bears. They formed a trail leading away from the truck, hoping to lure the raccoons away from the ice cream. Sure enough, the raccoons couldn't resist the smell and started following the trail like a conga line. Great job, team! Leo said, grinning as the raccoons followed their trail all the way back to the forest. The team high-fived each other. The ice cream truck was safe again, and Mr. Sprinkle rewarded them with free ice cream for a month. As they licked their cones, Leo smiled. Another case closed by the kid detective agency. Ben, munching happily on a chocolate-dipped cone, nodded. I guess we can say we scooped the bad guys.